If you understand what it means, you don't have to do this. But if you understand what it means to lift your hands to God, what that means is I'm just yielding, I'm surrendering. It's a sign of humility. It doesn't make you charismatic. It doesn't mean that you're going to be marked with a Pentecostal badge. It just means I'm humbly coming to you, God. And I'm just yielding myself like clay. And I'm saying, would you come and potter me? I've left life part of me. I've left relationships part of me. I let the past in my family, my upbringing, my childhood part of me. You could be 45 in here and you could say, you know, that's amazing. I, I still talk about growing up and I still refer to it as if it's some kind of detriment to me. You know, as you lift your hands tonight, just by faith, say, I'm putting that off. Nothing's going to decide me but who you are and what you've accomplished. Now, listen, I'm assuming if you leave your hands up when I pray that you're, you're a yes to to this message and you're saying I want this truth in my life so if you leave your hands up when I'm praying I'm just assuming that and believing that we're saying yes you can play if you want to you sitting there you might as well just it's not on I was gonna say what a waste somebody as gifted and amazing as you <laughs> would you take uh, would you take a few seconds and just tell the Lord what you're ready for in light of what you heard tonight would you make your own heart right now known to God. It's for your own conscience sake. He knows. He knows all things. But it's for your own conscience sake. It's, it's, it's convicting. It's good. Just talk to Him. If you haven't been living this way, don't get all hung up about that and say, boy, I got a long way to go. No, no. I got some way to go. I got an answer tonight. There's an answer right in front of me. I'm putting off the old and I'm putting on the new. I'm not going to live the way I was. I'm going to live the way He created me for and the way He called me to. This helped me. This, this, this aligned me. This positioned me. Come on, whatever that means for you, you put that truth on right now and just talk to Him about that. Get personal with the Lord. Come on, I'm not a real big, super big altar call guy. I'm really not. I, I, I just preach the truth and I trust Holy Spirit and I believe men will do with the truth what their conscience is convicted by. So get real with him. Like the young lady said, just talk to him. Just talk to him and he'll come. But you can just make your vows to the Lord in the sense of, I'm done just letting my heart be hurt. I'm done with excuses. If my attitude doesn't produce life, if I can't find it in you, God, then I don't want it in me. Realign me. Teach me. And walk me through every day. Come on. Is that your heart? Are you saying yes to this? Yes. We're saying yes to this. Teach me to be more and more like you in everyday life where it really, really counts in family, in work relationships, in, in passing by folks that my disposition would be full of life and full of light. And Lord, I pray that you protect us, all of us, from slipping into anything else, from losing a day or two or a week just to discouragement, a wrong focus, a wrong view. I pray you burn this in our hearts so bright tonight that those things won't have a voice. They won't have a pull. That our heart would say, wait a minute, that isn't what matters. That doesn't matter. This is what matters, that I shine. So I'm asking for grace to shine, Lord. I'm asking for a wisdom to be retained through tonight, Lord, that, that these lights would shine before men as we were singing, not little lights, this big light. It makes a big difference. And I pray, God, that you would work in us tonight. I pray that there's lines of no return. I pray that even cycles and, and things that we've been caught up in in this room we just find that they have no voice or power because the value and the calling of our life increased tonight. Man, I'm alive for a purpose. I'm not existing. I don't need anything but a deeper revelation of you. No one owes me anything. I owe no man anything but to love. I'm going to live this way, God, the best I understand. And I'm asking you to give me understanding. Father, do it. 